A long while back, I noticed something very interesting when I was reading Free Thought Today, the publication of the Freedom From Religion Foundation. One might expect with a name like Free Thought Today that the publication would be a bastion of free thought. But, interestingly enough, in one sense it really wasn't. The letters to the editor really struck me. Not because they were particularly interesting, though sometimes they were, but for another reason. I noticed every single letter praised Free Thought Today and or the Freedom From Religion Foundation. Think about that. Wouldn't you expect a newspaper that calls itself Free Thought Today to make an example of free thought and have the letters to the editor be critical exchanges of dialogue. You would expect there to be a lot of letters where people say, I disagree with this, I disagree with that. But why aren't atheists engaging in more free thought? Why are they doing as blindly praising Freedom From Religion Foundation? The point is not whether Freedom From Religion Foundation is worthy of praise or not. They do some things that are good, some things that are not in my book. But the point is, why aren't atheists questioning them more? I know it's something very interesting as well when you compare it to other magazines or newspapers. Pretty much any newspaper you look at out there, the letters to the editor are critical of the newspaper. Even something like Time Magazine, the letters to the editor are critical. People Magazine is an example of something that is full of letters to the editor that are critical. They have people who praise them, sure, but people criticize them. And a lot of people think People Magazine is a rather superficial thing, whereas something like Free Thought Today would be so deep and intellectual. Funny how that works. Why do atheists love to call themselves free thinkers so much? Is it because they are the only ones who think freely? I don't think so. It makes me wonder. Do they say it so much because they want to convince themselves that they are? Like Shakespeare said, me thinks thou protested too much. That seems like what the atheists are doing. They need to scream it from the rooftops that they are free thinkers. It seems like they are insecure. Interestingly enough, Paul Kurtz made a wise observation about religion. He said, it's not that religious people are not critical of other ideas. I'm sorry, let me start over. He said, it's not like religious people are not completely lacking critical thinking. It's just they don't criticize their own ideas, whereas they criticize the ideas of other religions. He gave an example like a Mormon would Christian would question Catholicism, but may not question Mormonism to the same level they would question Catholicism. That's a very valid point. In a sense, everyone's a free thinker. If being a free thinker simply means that you question ideas that you don't like. Atheists are the same way as these Christians. They don't give the same scrutiny to atheistic ideas that they give to religious ideas. Most atheists will talk endlessly about the problems of religion, but they don't talk endlessly about the problems of atheism. They don't criticize the atheistic saints and prophets like Madeline Murray O'Hare, Dan Barker, Paul Kurtz, Richard Dawkins, Christopher Hitchens. They blindly follow them. It's rare to see them question that. Some of them do on occasion, sometimes, but not to the same level that they question religion. It takes a rare individual to be a true free thinker. And a true free thinker is someone that questions their own sacred views just as much as the views they don't like. Not too many people out there exemplify the virtue of free thought. Like many virtues, it's an ideal that many may strive for, but few actually attain. So think of this next time you read newspapers that call themselves free thought today and things of that nature.
Think about it.